Hey, what's up YouTube? How are you guys doing today? My name's Tobias and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, what I have for you guys is a microphone review and the microphone that I am reviewing today is a USB condenser microphone by the company Toner. The model is the TC777 and I'm gonna go ahead and have the link for this microphone down in the description below in case you wanna check it out. And just before we get started, if you guys like this video or if this video helps you out, if you wouldn't mind going down there and giving this video a like, that would help me out so much. And also if you wanna see more videos by me in the future, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notifications button. Now let's go ahead and get into this. I have the Amazon on page for this microphone up on my computer. I'll show you guys that really quick, one second. All right guys, so here's the Amazon page and if you go over here, it looks like it goes for $39.99 and it comes with free shipping, which is pretty cool. And then if you look over here, it looks like it does come with like a pop filter and a little desk stand, like tripod desk stand, which is actually pretty cool. I have a couple microphones if you look over here. Um, I do have like a couple of microphones up here that do have these kinds of like desk stands and those little microphone desk stands like really come in handy. It looks like it's going to be like one kind of like this. And once again, guys, I will have this Amazon page linked down in the description of this video in case you want to check it out for yourself. And I actually have reviewed quite a few products by Toner in the past. This uh, microphone arm stand and microphone are actually both by Toner. Um, and and it, that's a pretty cool setup too. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. As usual, I will be doing a quick unboxing followed by a demonstration followed by a review. All right, guys, check it out. This is everything that came inside the box. Over here, we have a warranty card. It looks like it comes with a two-year warranty. And then we have the instruction manual right here, the actual microphone itself. We're gonna go ahead and put that together in a second. It looks like it's actually already like pretty much all assembled. And then right here, we have the pop filter, which we gotta screw onto this little stand right there. And it's a really small pop filter. It's like, um, fits right in the palm of my hand. On the Amazon page over here, it says that it's actually four inches in diameter. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and set this thing up and get a better look at it. All right guys, so if you look here, the front of the microphone is right here where it has the logo. And then if you look at how it's actually attached to this little tripod stand, this actually serves as kind of like a shock mount. These are kind of like these rubber bands and the mic kind of sits on those kind of like a shock mount. I think that's meant to serve as kind of like a shock mount so that if you like hit the desk or like the microphone shakes, you're not gonna hear that in the microphone. You see how there's some like there's some give there. And it looks like the pop filter, it connects to the back of the stand so that it can come around to the front. And it's a, it's a really nice all-in-one little setup, guys, for $39.99. I think it's like not bad at all. But of course, we still have to test out how good it sounds. So let's go ahead and do that next. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and test out the audio of this microphone. And I just wanna show you guys how I do this because sometimes people ask me in the comments like how I'm setting this up so I could hear the audio. And basically like what I do is I just have the microphone plugged into my computer. It's a USB mic, so just plug it into the USB port. By the way, the USB port, I mean plug, did seem to be like kind of thick, like I kind of had to like really push it in there. Um, and then what I do is I have it going through Logic Pro. And yeah, I'm still using Logic Pro 9. I've been using this for like, I don't know, like 10 years or something. I'm probably gonna upload to, uh, sorry, upgrade to Logic 10 uh, pretty soon. Uh, that's actually why I bought this computer in the back, but I'm probably gonna upgrade to Logic 10 pretty soon, um, especially since I just saw that Logic 10.5 just came out. Then what I do um, is I go up here into preferences and I go to audio and then I select, I don't know if you guys could see this, let me see. Yeah, then you have to go into your input device and then you select the toner TC777. And then for output device, I just use the built-in output. And that's why I have my, uh, I have my um, headphones plugged right in there so I could hear the audio directly. 
And then I can bounce a high quality WAV file from Logic and I can sync it up with my video so that we can really hear the clean audio from this microphone. And one more thing I just wanted to mention really quick, um, the way that the instructions and the Amazon page show you to set this mic up is like this with the little joint of the microphone in the of the microphone stand in the front. And I would actually recommend taking the microphone out turning it around and putting it back in so that the front of the microphone is now facing this way, which is supposed to be the back of the mic stand. And the reason for that is if you have it, this being the front and you're sitting at your desk, you would need to tilt the mic to look up at you. But as you can see, you cannot tilt it up. You can only tilt it down. So that's why I flipped it around and now I can set the microphone on my desk and have it tilted up at me. And of course I need to move that uh, pop filter to the front, but that seems much more practical than the way that it was kind of, I guess, telling you to set it up. And another little tip that I recently learned is that if you have the microphone pointed at your mouth, but you're not speaking directly into the capsule of the microphone, that'll help you reduce sibilance. So if I'm talking like this over the microphone, um, the idea is that hopefully that will reduce some of the sibilance that comes from my voice. Just something you might want to take into consideration. So what's going to happen now, guys, is the audio that you are hearing right now is coming from the microphone on top of my camera. And what I'm going to do now is on the count of three, I'm going to switch over to the audio coming from this microphone right here. So one, two, three. All right, guys. So the audio that you are now hearing is coming from this toner microphone right here. And I gotta say, um, I'll probably turn the volume up here a little bit so you could really hear it, but I gotta say there's somewhat of a high noise floor. It's not like super, super bad, but it is definitely there. Like if I was using this to record something, I would definitely have to use a denoiser plugin or some sort of noise gate in post which sometimes like, I don't always really like to have to do that. But yeah, I would say that there's a some there's somewhat of a high noise floor. And I forgot to mention earlier, guys, it did come with this little uh, clown nose, like windsock type deal. So I'll try that out in a second. But let me know down in the comments below how you guys think this mic sounds. And when I say noise floor, um, I'm talking about that hiss noise in the background. So it's kind of like a low hiss noise. That's pretty much constant. That's what I'm talking about. But apart from that, I feel like my voice sounds really clear. Um, I do like how it sounds. It'll definitely sound better than like the stock microphone on your computer probably. Um, let's test it with me right here. And then check, check, check. I'm going to go further back. Check, 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 check. Move to the side. Check, 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 check. Close again. Check, 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 check. All right, guys, let me know how you guys think it sounds. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and try it out with this windsock. Check, check, check. Um, it might be helping a little bit more with like the P's and the B's, you know, kind of like how the pop filter helps. But I feel like the noise floor is like so loud that I can't really tell if this thing is actually like the windsock is actually making a difference. All mics are gonna have like a noise floor, but I just feel like this one is like r kind of noticeable, more noticeable than I've seen in other mics. But anyways, guys, you guys are hearing the same exact audio that I'm hearing. I wanna know what you guys think about it. And let's go ahead and move on to the review portion of this video. All right, guys, so now the audio that you're hearing is coming from the microphone on top of my camera. And by the way, guys, when I'm talking about background noise or like background hiss or a noise floor, even the microphone on top of my camera does have a kind of a high noise floor and it always has like a constant background hiss as well. It's just that in post, I always put a, a denoiser plug in on it to get rid of it. So maybe what I should do right now is I'll go ahead and put a denoiser plug in on the audio from this microphone and I'll show you like before and after. All right guys, so the audio that you are now hearing is coming from this toner microphone right here. All right guys, so the audio that you are now hearing is coming from this toner microphone right here. So that's how it sounded before and after. And now I'll show you guys what the microphone on my camera sounds like uh, before and after I put a denoiser on it.
This is what it sounds like without the denoiser. And this is what it sounds like with the denoiser. Could you tell the difference there? So one question that I kind of get a lot in my videos is like, oh, would this mic be okay for recording music? And um, I would say for this one, I don't know that I would actually want, I'm not saying you can't, but personally, I don't know if I would want to record like vocals or something with this microphone just because of that background hiss. I might want something like a little bit cleaner, but guys, it all comes down to what your budget is. Maybe you only have $40 to spend on a microphone, then this would be a great option for you guys. It's a, it's an all-in-one mic setup. It comes with a little shock mount. It comes with the pop filter, and you always wanna use a pop filter when you're doing vocals. But if you have a little bit more money, you can get a microphone like this one right here. It's also a USB microphone. It's by a company called Fine Fine. And this one goes for $50.99, but then you also have to pay for shipping, which is, for me at least, it's $5.52. But I just wanna give you like a little comparison of what a $40 microphone sounds like to like a $50 microphone. And of course, this one doesn't come with a pop filter or anything, so you'd also have to buy that separate, which probably costs around $10. So let me just do a little comparison for you guys. But as for a microphone that goes for $40, I don't know any other USB condenser microphones that go for around $40. So check it out guys, this is what the Fine Fine microphone sounds like. So now you guys kind of have an idea of what a $40 microphone sounds like compared to a $50 microphone. As you guys can hear, this one still has quite a bit of a noise floor, if you guys can hear that. But I feel like it's a little less and then my vocals are a lot brighter so it kind of really overpowers that, um, that, that background hiss. So I don't know guys, let me know what you guys think. Maybe the extra money for something like this isn't worth it to you guys and, and you're you're better off going with something like this. And then also you gotta take into consideration the cost of like a pop filter and then like also the shipping cost, which would come out to like another $15. So really you're spending probably around $65. So maybe you even wanna look at it like that. $65 versus $40. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below and let's go back to my camera microphone. All right guys, so in the end, I think this is a for $40, like you always gotta take the price into consideration what you're getting for $40. And what you're getting is an all-in-one setup for $40 free shipping. Like, I, I don't really know if there is an alternative for the same price range. In conclusion, I think for $40, this isn't bad. If you're on a really tight budget and $40 is the most you can spend on a microphone, go ahead and do it. I'm also like a strong believer of, it's not so much the equipment that matters, it's the story you're telling or the, the product that you're producing. I think this microphone is great for beginners. If, if this microphone is going to get you to start putting out content, I think it's great. So I think inexpensive microphones like this one are really great for that reason. It's gonna get beginners into the game. So anyways guys, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, once again, if you would not mind giving this video a like, that would help me out so much. And if you wanna see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. And once again guys, I'll have a link to this microphone down in the description below in case you wanna check it out. I'll also have a link to this fine fine microphone down in the description below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.